Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. I had to run some errands um, this afternoon and uh, while I was out, I decided to pop into Joanne and see if they had the new Christmas release from Tim Holtz out in the store yet. And they did, but it was fairly picked over already. Um, but I did pick up a few things and then I also picked up some of these ribbons. They are already marked at 50% off. So if you happen to have a Joanne in your neighborhood, um, pop in if you like these trims because they had plenty of these in stock. They had just stocked the Christmas shelves. I really liked this little tan rickrack with the white edges on it. Really, really cute. And then I love this red and white um, twine when I, on uh, tags at Christmas time. So I grabbed one of those. And then I thought this was an interesting little trio here, this um, set of three ribbons uh, with the white detailing on the sides there. So thought that was fun. So again, those are already 50% off. The Tim Holtz holiday stuff was 30% off. And then his everyday line was um, in a pre-weekend door buster at 40% off. So I picked up the Layers and Paper Dolls set. Uh, and this one is from the Christmas 2023. I like how they're adding the year here now. Um, they didn't do that years before. So you just had to guess it, <laughs> which one you were buying. Um, so this is the Layers and Paper Dolls set, and it comes with all kinds of uh, Christmas imagery, numbers, uh, borders, and then, of course, uh, people wearing coats, it seems. <laughs> um, I also got the Ephemera pack for Christmas 2023, 20, and I love these little packages. They are uh, full of all different kinds of things that you can use in your projects, and I think they really are a good value. I grabbed the sticker book for Christmas 2023 as well. I was really hoping that I could find the Halloween one from this year, but it sold out everywhere uh, before I was able to get out and about. Um, so this is the Christmas 2023 book, and I love these little books. They have lots of fun stickers in the back. I love that he includes these that look like the uh, vintage label maker. Um, this year he did it in green and red, and then um, here's some border stickers, and then I love these little snippet words. So these are just fun to play with. Um, so I grabbed that. And then I also got um, two of the smaller stamp sets. Um, this one I really liked the size of the sentiments. These are, this is a, the uh, uh, vintage Christmas sentiments. I think on the red rubber set, his sentiments can get a little large for card makers, um, in, in my opinion, since I don't make oversized cards. So I liked the size of these sentiments um, on this particular set. So you can see them there. And of course the vintage look to them and then I also grabbed this set I thought this set was really really cute and um, I just like all these little images and of course the full-size stencil in the background as well and then from the everyday line um, that was 40% off I grabbed this backdrops uh, volume 3 and this is the first time of me purchasing any of the backdrop collections so it's basically just a packet of paper with these different images on them so this is nothing new. So if you've seen any other Tim Holtz um, collection videos, you've probably seen uh, the contents of those <laughs> over and over again, because <laughs> they're, they are not new. Um, I also got an order in the mail today from uh, My Creative Time, and I had placed an order um, for just a couple, three or four things here. Um, I ordered the Christmas charms. I really wanted it for the joy, the two cups and the um, kitchen utensils. But of course, you know, the snowflake angel, ginger and tree will come in handy as well. So this is a really cute set from Emma. And then I also bought this little bundle that is the baking up love bundle. It comes with the um, rolling pin and the spoon. And then it comes with this little stamp set here that is all about baking. So I thought this might be handy to have on hand for Christmas time and really any time. I mean, spoonful of love, homemade treats, those could be used any time. Baking up love, baking up birthday wishes. So, um, <clears throat> so I got that. And then I also got chunky jar dot, junk, <laughs> chunky jar dies and I just thought this was a really creative set I love this little teeny tiny jelly jar uh, that's in the set as well so um, I grabbed that so that's my uh, order from Emma at uh, my creative time and then I did order um this from Ellen Hudson, but I ordered this through her Amazon store. So not only did she close her uh, independent 
store, her ellenhudson.com site, but she actually opened up an Amazon site, um, which I was delighted to find because I was actually on the hunt for some more of um, her storage envelopes. And I was glad to be able to find them on Amazon. And when I was uh, looking at the, Am the um, Amazon store for the storage envelopes, I saw that they also had some dies and stamps listed um, from their own personal designers, uh, in-house designers. So I picked up this sweater from the Julie Hudson, uh, excuse me, the Julie Ebersole line. So I love the detail details in that. So that is fun. Um, my uh, storage envelopes will be here in a couple weeks, but that came today. And then I also got the turkey noodle soup. This is the Diana Markham stamp of the month for, I believe, October. And it is the turkey noodle soup jar in which you create uh, layers of ingredients in a um, canning jar. And then you give it to somebody and it has the label with instructions on how they can then make up the contents of the soup that's in the jar. So I thought this was really cute, a good gift idea. And I like the little acorn and leaves stamps. And then over here in the corner, it says give thanks. So that's really cute. Kind of nice timing for Thanksgiving. And let's see. Um, I also got some cards in the mail this week. I'll share those with you. Uh, this one is from my friend, Carol. Carol D. Hey, boo. <laughs> and the, on the inside, it says, you are spooktacular. <laughs> so cute. And then I also got this card for my friend Terry. She's the Stampin' Up! demonstrator that recently sent me a card for my birthday. So this is so cute. No bones about it. You're a sweet friend. Isn't that fun? And then on the inside, oh, it looks like she used a really cool embossing folder too. Very cool. Um, on the inside, it says Happy Halloween. I love that. And on the back, she's got this creepy little hand by her signature stamp. So that's a fun card as well. And then I also got a card in the mail from Joyce and Bernie from Stamp Peddler on Etsy. And of course, Peddler's Pack. The old old school business. And this is an adorable card. I love that she decorated this tiered tray for Halloween. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> awesome detail here on the with the stickers and then I love that she's used these different panels of paper here as well those are really cool sheets of paper in the background so and then on the back she's got this neat sticker and then uh, some washi tape down here in the bottom or maybe it's a sticker yeah so very very cool so thank you so much for the cards ladies I appreciate it and let's see, a couple other things I picked up at Joanne while I was there. They had just put out their uh, Park Lane Holiday paper pads. The Park Lane line is 50% off. So these I was able to get for $4 instead of 8 um, And then I had additional coupons as well from my app and whatever. You know how it is when you go to Joanne's. Um, let's see. I've not opened these yet. Now I'm looking for some scissors. I'll just do a quick flip through. I've not actually seen anybody share these online. They had um, these six by eight paper pads and then they had um, these same prints but in 12 by 12 size. They had little packets of ephemera as well, um, but I did not pick up any of those. This is gonna cause me grief here. Oh goodness, these are tough stickers super sticky but they don't actually leave residue on there that's nice all right so this one's called the holiday pine i love this look at that there's kind of like some holographic detail on that sheet there and this one here oh and this one too oh and that one too so we've got a green sweater this is so hard to share sometimes looks like you get two of each there's a tree that's a really pretty page actually Oh, and then you get this fun um, chevron pattern. Ooh, neat. Nice green snowflake. Pretty plaid. Some trees. Ooh, I love this. A green sweater. I like this page as well. It's kind of tossed. Kind of woodland themed items. Ooh, that's that holographic page. Very cool. Oh, this is beautiful. That's a really beautiful sagey green color. That's nice. And 
pine green and then you get a tan sweater. That's nice too, tan holly leaves. Ooh, I love this, that snowflake pattern. And then this is holographic as well, these pine cones. Ooh, and this has holographic um, foiling on it. That's beautiful. That's nice. Uh, let's see, then there's some pine cones, pine boughs, plaid. Then this print again in a more subtle color. Ooh, I like that. Some zigzag stripes. Oh, and this sheet has some holographic prints as well. And then there's a color pine bow. Tan snowflake and that tree print again and done in green and tan. There's another woodlands print and then this little zigzag print done in green. Some cabins. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this. Here is a nice neutral sweater. And here's another holographic page with some um, deer and elk. Oh, this is a beautiful green plaid. Some cut aparts. Uh, the woodland forest just in cream and tan. And then that really pretty sage green color just with some trees. This is beautiful. This is a really, really nice paper pad. All right. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, let's take a look at the other two here. Um, let's see. I think I'll start with the gingerbread one. I almost didn't get this one. Um, but then I'm like, you know, it's half off. Why am I like that? Because <laughs> I don't need any more paper is why I'm like that. But <clears throat> I can probably afford $4 of fun. <laughs> Seriously. All right. So this one's called Nice List. So we've got red and white polka dots, gray snowflakes with the little Santa's elves, a gray and white plaid, letters, a red and white plaid, candy cane or candies, red snowflakes, gingerbreads with little foils, accents, um, a little red and white chevrony pattern. Candy canes. I do love this page. I like that a lot. Then there's this page. Some red and white snowflakes. A snowman. Then these um, little chevroni bees are red foil. I like that. Red and white sweater pattern. I do really like this sheet. I love those little sketchy trees. And then red and white bows. Uh, this page I think is boring. <laughs> uh, red, and uh, there are little red squares in stripes in rows. Some snowmen. And I do really love this page, those sketchy trees done again. Red plaid, red snowflakes, gingerbreads with uh, no foiling. And then there's a cut apart sheet. And then this one has red foiling. And then this also has red foil. I like this. I like this. Truck. Red and white candy canes. This has foiling as well. And then uh, red and white. And then Santa. So not my favorite. I do like, uh, I do like several of the sheets in there, but I like the first pad better. So now let's take a look at this one. I think this one is going to be very nice as well. All right. All right, this one is called Season's Greetings. So we've got some, let's start at the back like I did with all the others. A, gr a green and cream colored print, that's pretty. Uh, black dog. And then this looks like it uh, has a light texture to it, kind of like uh, linen. And then this paper has it as well. Uh, snowflakes, kind of a tone-on-tone -tone snowflake. Uh, so far, all the prints have like a linen texture looking background. It's not something you can feel, just to see. Um, this has red foiling on the wreath, berries. Then there's some houndstooth. 
some green and white snowflakes. Then we have some pomegranates. I love this, all these trees. Ooh, I really like this. This one has red foiling on the trees, little um, decorations. And then this sheet has these little pomegranates on there on the pine boughs instead of pine cones, interesting. Some houses, then here's a little row of um, dogs and the pine sprigs and fa la 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 la. More fa la 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 la's. These deer are made up of snowflakes. That's interesting print. And then we've got rows of Santa. Uh, what I do love are these. These are like different sections of plaid sewn together. I love this. And there are some red dots on this sheet with the pomegranates and the pine boughs. I love this sheet here. And then the red dog, or the uh, black dog with the red accents on the hats and the collar. This is a really fun grid here. And then red deer, green gingham, trees. I love this page. Holy cow. Oh, I'm, I'm glad it's not one I'd have to, or, you know, which one am I going to use? I'm going to use this one all day long. <laughs> this one too. Holy cow, that's so cute. And those trees have little red accents on them, foiled accents. Oh, good. This one also, I don't have to even think about this side. And then here is a forest with um, snowflakes in it that um, have a little star shines to them. Red snowflake and then that red... Um, print like we had in the back which is with the green I think let's see yeah so that's nice and then Santa and then we've got some green pine cones this page I could care less for but look at this yes 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 all day long and then the ticking and then the pomegranates this is a wonderful pad as well I would pick up another one of this one and I would definitely pick up another one of the holiday pine too. So very, very fun. And it seems like the paper and the colors are much nicer than the pads that they put out last year. Um, maybe, let me go grab one. Look out, Oliver. So here, here's one of the pads from last year. <laughs> this one is called New Traditions. Yeah, see the colors just weren't as um, vivid. The image what, wasn't as crisp on these. They did have foiling. This one had gold foiling. But see here, like this page, the dove looks very soft focused. Even the flowers here look very soft focus, like they didn't print sharply. But this year's papers, much, much nicer quality. So you can see all the detail there on the pine boughs. So very, very nice. I'm pleased with these. These, I do like the images. I do wish they had a better quality print, but we'll get through, right? Still use them. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!